that was one second. You have to push one zero zero on this microwave. <laughs> there we go. It's one second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, good morning, guys. We didn't even say good morning. Say good morning. 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 Good morning. It is a Monday. Shirt, Panic show Monday. The show the shirt. Show the shirt. Look at my shirt. No. <laughs> Her shirt. Okay. Gabby's wearing another new shirt that she has never worn yet, and it yeah, is I got it. another polo, polo which from she's... Tommy um, Hillfinger. Yeah. Is that your favorite? I say Hisslinger. <laughs> is, is that your favorite um, t-shirt brand Tommy. now? It's literally the only shirt company that locally that we could find that sells polos for women, right? <laughs> No, like there's a store that has them. Yeah. And we go there. I found five thousand, but Dad only let me get three. So. Yeah. How rude of Dad. Yeah. Anyways, um, Gabby's at a friend's house on the weekend, and she had these pogos. Really? Oh my gosh! What happened? You tricker! Oh, I see you got lipstick in your hand. That was a good no. prank, though. No. I can do it to Dad. Yeah, you can do it to dad, because dad will fall for it, maybe. <laughs> anyway, she had Pogo's at her friend's house, and then when we were at the grocery store, there she's like, buy these, I gotta have these, so we're just having them, um, they're just having them for one special time, they're not having them all the time, they're just eating it now. Anyway, um, so they're having those, and we had to get a new microwave, if you guys don't remember, our old microwave blew up on us. One time we were using it and it caught on fire. So um, we never replaced it because we hardly ever used them. But now that we're gonna be at the trailer, we were like, yeah, we'll make things so much easier. So we had to get a new one. We got that last night. And the girls are trying it out. So good. Can I make mine? Anyway, it's noon and we are still doing homeschool. We did a lot of work today because we missed a couple of days last week. So we had to make a lot of that up and the girls are just doing the last bit of their writing and they're doing their reading and then we're done for the day. But they're so slow sometimes, it could take forever. And that's the thing about homeschool, you guys. You might not know this. At school, you could have a worksheet and be like, oh, I hate this worksheet. I'm just gonna fool around and do like one or two questions and then when the time limit is up, then I won't have to finish it. But at homeschool, you don't get a choice. Homeschool doesn't end until you finish the work. What do you think about that? I hate it. You hate that? I hate it. Yeah, that's the worst part, huh? But I don't like waking up at seven something in the morning, even though I do it at home school. Yeah, you know, what time did you wake up this morning? Eight something. Yeah, eight thirty. I wake up at seven or eight. Okay. Like seven. Did lots of hugs and seven. kisses. I wake up at seven thirty to eight thirty. So yeah, in the shop, girl. Finish up first, please. This girl, on the other hand, got no sleep last night. It was a crazy night. One of those nights where I woke up in the middle of the night and then I couldn't fall back asleep. And then I noticed Sam was missing. Sam was missing out of my bed and then I really couldn't sleep. So I thought he was probably downstairs. It was two o'clock in the morning. I thought, okay, something happened with the video and he was like, went down to fix it. So yeah, he uploaded the video and then it didn't upload. It was completely black. So then he had to render the whole thing again and our computer is really slow. And then he had to upload it again. It takes an hour for us to upload right now. I don't know what is wrong, but we're gonna get that fixed up. And um, so yeah, he was up from like two till three trying to upload, get the video uploaded. Usually it doesn't work out like that. So then I stayed awake and then we were actually sitting down here chatting. That's never happened in my life before. It was terrible, but now I'm tired, you guys. We are here at the barn and usually we get here just in the nick of time and we have to rush down and get the horses. But today, the horses are already up. I love those days. Those are my favorite days. It saves me walking. All right, get moving. You only have a few minutes. Hi, Miss Molly. Hello, buddy. Molly, did you bring Storm up? No. Are you riding Sabrina? Nope. It was either iPad or Sabrina. Are you not riding Sabrina because you fell yesterday and now you're afraid? Um, no, because I don't like riding in people's lessons. You don't like riding in people's lessons? You've done so good riding in people's because lessons. Because I have to um, move away from them. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Gabby's like, you should ride Sabrina in my lesson. I was like, there's no way I can ride in their lesson where they're running around the ring. Yes. Dirty, but look at this. Somebody's been itching his tail. Soon he's not gonna have any tail. Why are you doing that? All right. What are we gonna do with him? No mane, no tail, but his tail looks good. 
All right, let's get this ride on. Well, Sophia was making fun of Storm and then he snorted at her. No, I he's like, he's a funny boy. It's like he has so much patience. I feel like he's like, ah, this is my life now with these little people. <laughs> like, little people. Really? He puts his head right down and stares quietly right into their eyes. <laughs> They're such a nice boy. We tried to buy you a new girth. Didn't work out yet. We have to go um, ex exchange that. All of a sudden, when Gabby's um, lunging him, all of a sudden he just jumps over a jump. Yeah. Sometimes it seems like he really wants to jump, and then other times it seems like they have trouble, but he's just learning. We're just adjusting. The, the back door is open today, so there will be lots of amazing light, but there's yeah. a school bus right outside the door. If Sabrina was up here, there would be a lot of spooking happening, huh? Storm might be up. I don't think so. When Storm spooks, he just is, he's so calm about it. Yeah, he's like so rational and we're so irrational. <laughs> he's like, what did you go, what, what, what did I, where did I end up? <laughs> Gabby, I want you to try something for me. Leave your hands in front of you without touching his mouth. Sit and ask him to walk. Good. And trot. Lift your rein up, not out. It's a western thing, that's what he's done for two years. So if we have to do that for a little bit, till he remembers how to go straight again, then we'll do that. Not a big deal. Remember, some of the things you learn when you're riding are not things that you're gonna use every day. They're little things that are gonna help you fix the problem at the, at the time, and then we'll throw them in our little tickle trunk for later if we need them. If he's going along quiet, you don't want to touch him at all. Lift your left one up. Up, straight up. Yep, drop it. Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Eyes. There's 
no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see
but it's not quite there not like it was with Sabrina and Gabby feels nervous with jumping she does anyway there was a point in her lesson where she went cantering by me and I heard her say we can do this and then I got tears in my eyes and then after she jumped it she said I knew you could do it and I just was like amazed because Storm's old owner told me that he really likes to be talked to and he likes to hear what she wants from him and I just thought it was amazing and I did you hear her say that yeah it was so nice it is just a learning process I think Storm's doing better and Gabby's doing better and I was really happy with him I'm really starting to fall in love with him too it's like a process like it's it I mean I like him and I love him but I'm really starting to love him and he is starting to know us as as his family anyway so moving on before I end today's video I just wanted to tell you guys we are headed out of town we are headed someplace not too far away and we are going to look at a horse look at a, oh, look at a horse and it's a mare and who's it for me 
Yeah, it's happening. We've been looking at horses. We've been every single day. I'm not even joking. I look at at least a five ads every single day trying to find a horse for her. And most of them are like, yeah, that horse would be great for her. And then I show our coach and she's like, nope, that horse is just way too forward for her. And it just never works out. And a couple of times they've said, no, our, my horse is too, she needs an older rider. But most of the time it's because it just doesn't suit her. It's just, she, we have to have a beginner safe horse. So anyway, we are headed to try a horse. Sophie's the very first trial of a horse. So wish us luck. Not very and first. And we will see you guys tomorrow and you guys can meet her horse and maybe it'll be her horse. Who knows? Bye. Are you excited? <laughs> Bye. Bye guys. See you tomorrow. Pray for us. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.